In the final year of their course, Blackpool College students studying technical illustration work on a number of set project briefs. One of these is a team project involving the production of a detailed inkline illustration. This year, students were allowed to select their subject from a range of steam engines housed in Manchester Museum of Science and Industry. The museum reflects particularly the distinguished industrial history of the area, and all the exhibits were manufactured or used by local companies. The final selections were made from a number of railway locomotives. The Planet, one of the first ever passenger steam locomotives, the Pakistan Railways engine, which was renovated by the museum, and the South African Railways engine number 2352. This is one of the most powerful steam locomotives ever built. It was made by Bayer Garrett, a local company for use in South Africa. It was subsequently re-imported for exhibition when it was retired from use. The students who chose to illustrate this locomotive formed an unusually large team of five due to the complexity of the subject. The approach to producing an illustration of this type is always very similar. It is based on thorough research. Photography, video recording and sketches are used to supplement information from blueprints or research from other sources. In this case, the extensive archives housed in the basement of the museum were consulted. They supply technical specifications and copies of the original blueprints. The aim of the project is to allow students to gain experience of working as members of a creative team, making group decisions and matching their artwork to a jointly agreed style. The viewpoint is first selected, sometimes with the aid of computer technology to produce perspective grids. The drawing is then produced to a pencil stage, each team member being responsible for a section. When all details are complete, the five pencil drawings are combined. The illustration is then progressed using ink line, which will make it more suitable for reproduction. Each team member works in turn to add their section. The final stage is to add cast shadows and solid blacks where appropriate in order to enhance the three-dimensional effect. The resulting illustration measures six feet by two feet. This can be printed for publication or for use in the museum's displays.